Hey you guys, it's Brits tonight. We're here to talk about a brand new mother and daughter duo that I came across on Instagram. And in my opinion, this is absolutely one of the worst pages that I've come across as far as a parent using their child. I know that family vloggers will usually have like a certain set of videos that are really bad and you know the concept as a whole is bad but this page right here made me feel so uneasy just simply clicking on their videos. It gave me a feeling that I didn't like, and I know that because of the content that I cover, this is going to upset a lot of y'all, and we're just gonna go through it. So we're gonna be talking about Fancy Schmancy Girls. They have 153,000 followers over on Instagram, and there is there are quite a few things to go over. So nevertheless, if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so this page is run by the mother. Her name is Maria, and Maria is, she is something else. When I was first sent this page, the person that shared it with me was highlighting their subscription feed or option that they offer on their Instagram. And if y'all don't know, if you have an Instagram page, you can offer your followers a subscriber, like a member-only type of um level of access so that they might get exclusive live streams they'll see content that nobody else sees and i've mentioned subscriber stuff before but for for me if you're gonna do a subscriber um option for people number one should never include your kids you don't put your kids behind a paywall point blank period and if you're gonna do it then you know make it worth the paying members time and a lot of times it's just not worth the fee that the creator is charging it's a bunch of nonsensical let me collect all of this money and once in a while give you all a video that i'm going to call exclusive even though it's not worth two cents but I want to share this first post with you because this is a screenshot that I learned about them from. It says, both of us are on the subscription. She's referring to herself, the mother, and her daughter who is 15, 15 years old as of me filming this. On this subscription, you get bikini try-ons, videos and photos, stretching and yoga videos, Maria's pole dancing, vacation photos, and behind the scenes. Now, I want to touch on the pole dancing part of this kind of marketing strategy that she has going on because she talks about and shows herself pole dancing very often. While I can appreciate that on its own as a consenting adult and somebody who wants to do that and show it to followers, fine. But when you are co-mingling it with your teenage daughter, whom you have sexualized, you have put her out there for creepy people to become attached to, that is where I have a problem with it. Let's go ahead and segregate and you can do your pole dancing and your swimsuit try-ons and whatever you want to do. Your 15-year-old child should not be doing bikini try-ons with you and walking around in midriff and shaking her ass in the camera right next to you. That should not be part of your marketing strategy. It's trashy and it's extremely problematic. And I think that this page is going to continue to get negative attention. For so many videos, I will insert some screenshots, but there are videos of her inappropriately dancing. There are constant videos of her in midriffs and really short shorts. There are videos of them in very skimpy bathing suits. Um, you know, there there's a lot of also sexually suggestive 
content that's posted. She posted a video called Two Girls, One Dress. And if y'all know anything about kind of internet culture, I think that most of us understand where that came from. And she's saying two girls, one dress instead of two girls, one fill in the blank. I'm not even gonna go there because it frankly makes me sick to my stomach. There's videos of this daughter saying, when you hear a banging noise coming from your mother's room and she's doing a facial massage, it's that kind of content. It's very, um, not only is it insincere and fake and scripted and all of the cheesy stuff that we see with most family vloggers and influencers, but the problem with this is that it is inappropriate considering how often she puts her daughter on this page and allows her daughter to wear revealing clothing while creepy people are leaving inappropriate comments in the video comment section. There's another video that was posted and she called it Santa's sack game. And they have, I mean, look at this screenshot. You cannot tell me that this is not supposed to be, you cannot tell me that it's not supposed to be suggestive in some way, shape or form. If you look at this and you cannot see what this mother is trying to do with her daughter, then maybe you're just naive and that is completely okay. But I would suggest that you educate yourself on this type of content, new Christmas party game. They literally have hot dogs trying to go into a paper towel or a toilet paper roll. What the f is wrong with this woman? The comments. James Brady, 0753. How do you guys do it? Jim from Chicago with a laughing emoji. She does turn her comments off sometimes, but when she does have her comments on, you can go through these profiles and see that it's just a bunch of random men, usually, who are leaving disgusting comments talking about the daughter or giving her compliments like why are you complimenting a 15 year old or a 14 year old because she has been on social media that long this page deeply disturbs me and I cannot believe that it hasn't been talked about before now I do hope that um you know I, I hope that they land on the radar of more commentary channels. It's just really unfortunate what she's doing with her daughter. You know, she posts things like three positions. You won't last 30 seconds in. And of course it's workout stuff. Like lady, listen, you are uncreative. You are extremely disturbing in the way that you're using your daughter and I'm going to continue to look into their content um, because there's just a lot of things that I immediately see the title of these videos and I see what's going on and I understand what she's doing because I have an adult brain okay I understand what she's trying to do and it's working because she is trying to get people to engage with these videos and she's getting a bunch of creepy men leaving her comments that are disturbing any grown man or grown woman that is leaving any type of comment regarding a 15 14 year old girl who is wearing a little bikini and running around with her mom um those are not people that you would or you should want on your social media 
And if you continue to reproduce the content and continue to give it to them and then offer it to them behind a paywall where you are pole dancing and you're also putting your daughter behind that paywall, um, you need to be called out. So this is the part one of this dumpster fire of a um, channel, but I wanted to do a quick kind of rundown. I'm gonna continue to cover them. I will have a part two and go more in depth as to um, some of the other content that they've made, but my God, I mean, they come a dime a dozen. Parents using their kids for social media, clicks, views, money, clout, whatever you wanna call it, are literally a dime a dozen. And it is so sad for this generation that is growing up being used by their parents. What on earth is going on? So Maria, you're now on my list for what that's worth. And I will see y'all in part two. But for today, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.